I know your position in terms of do you want to keep the school open. There isn't anyone on the board that really wants to close the school, but on the other hand, that represents roughly a half a dozen teacher positions to us, and faced with the, you know, which is the lesser of the two evils, or, you know, we have two bad alternatives that we have to choose one from. Do we keep the school open and lay off another, you know, group of teachers? Um, and we've, we've looked at, uh, at ways to cut costs. The facilities committee, the busing people have looked at that. Um, so the input that we've had from the different elements within the school district and, and building and grounds, the bus people, um, it doesn't look like we have an alternative. It comes down to is it teacher jobs or the Stone Lake School? And we would love to keep it open. But that's the decision that we're, uh, that we're faced with. My name is Hazel Jondrick. I was the valedictorian from Hayward High School in 1962. I'm not as proud of that as that I went to Boylan School for seven years. And it was at Boylan School that I learned so many more things than how to achieve academic. I cannot express strongly enough how, how I feel um, like I'm speaking for the students when the same thing happens to them that happened to me when I was forced to go into Hayward in the eighth grade. Um, one of the things that happened, for example, we rural students from all different rural schools were put into one group. We were told we were going to be divided into three groups by ability. One of the things that happened, only one Native American student was put in the, the brighter group. I know that isn't accurate. So by coming to a school where you are not a part of that school, where your school board and your teachers are not from the, the same um, maybe ethnic group, maybe working class, whatever. There are so many more differences that make school less where you, a place that you belong. I think of my youngest brother who had to come into Hayward in the second grade. He was sick, literally. I had to take him to the doctor for mornings because going from a teacher that he loved, Miss Simonson, and where the, the kids felt they were all a part of something important in, the, in a learning community. Hayward does not have that for most of us. Maybe it does for the kids that grew up in Hayward, but for those rural people coming in, it doesn't. And I would also like to suggest if there's terrible problems with busing, um, maybe this is a good time to start decentralizing and go using less oil to, you know, to transport kids miles and miles. Uh, people kill each other for, for gasoline. Um, it hurts our earth um, in terms of global uh, temperature change and so on. So I think maybe this is a good point to begin going away from the direction of, um, of uh, consolidation and, and making things more. In the Lady Smith School District, I taught there for 17 years. Many of those classrooms had two grades and had one teacher. Parents were very involved with the school and their children's progress. The whole community, at any, any school function, the whole community was there, not just parents and family, the whole community. Every time Lady Smith tried to call, close Hawkins and send the children into Lady Smith, the community united to keep the, their school intact. However, one year after I retired from there, Hawkins School was closed and the children told to attend Lady Smith. The parents were outraged. They open and enrolled their children in Flambeau School District and raised money to hire a bus, to buy a bus, and hire a driver so they could bring their kids to the edge of the Flambeau School District so that they could go there to school. <coughs> After several years court battle, Hawkins detached from the Lady Smith District and attached to the Flambeau District. What had begun as a strategy to save money for the Lady Smith School District meant that Lady Smith, which was already losing revenue because of declining enrollment, ultimately lost all the state aid and the tax money from the Hawkins School District because now that went with Flambeau instead. Now Stone Lake School is facing the same dilemma. The school is being torn out of the community. School events will um, be, uh, occur way in Hayward instead of conveniently in Stone Lake. When children are sick, the parents will have to go farther to get them. Parents will have much less say in the Hayward District, and therefore they will be less involved in their children's education. They won't have the open lines of communication that they have by knowing their teachers so well in a small community. And this parental support, I'm a teacher still, 
Parental support is the foundation of children achieving in school. If you don't have it, your kids do not do as well. That's just the way it is. The paper says the district doesn't want to lay off, have to lay off teachers since their budget will be lower. I don't want that either. However, schools are for the support and education of the students first and foremost, and the necessity for them to move into town will be traumatic. This move is not primarily in the students' best interest, nor in the Stone Lake community's best interest. I would like to say, as a parent in the Hayward School District, you are as involved as you wish to be. I, from the time that my daughter stepped into the kindergarten classroom, through her, she is now in fourth grade. I have been involved, I have been in her classroom. I have chosen, as a parent, to make my daughter's education foremost in her life. Um, I think it's unfair to label Hayward as cold and not parents not wanting their kids to come here because the teachers are not as involved and the administration is not as involved and they're gonna get lost in the system. I think that you let your kid get lost in the system if that's the way you wanna play it. But just because you're coming to Hayward doesn't mean you're gonna get lost. Um, I know who my daughter's primary school principal was. I spoke to Rhonda Lee on many occasions. I know who her every teacher was, and I was in that classroom, letting them know who I was and where I could be contacted. When they needed me, I was there. You are as involved as you want to be. These kids don't have to get lost in the school district. Thank you. Thank you.